All right, it's time for run two with the Sisters of Battle. I the crossroads, a beacon for the broken and the battered. We need to reconsider what abilities we were using there because that just failed completely and utterly. All right, so Hellion Breacher. That's 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 really excellent for a Hellion. So that's that's a good pull. Beneath bloodlust and fury, there is emptiness okay. and shame. Run away. Tuckered out, not bad, because I mean most of our damage is coming from DOT. Nothing remains, save a burning will to survive. And we will get the grave robber. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. And Plague Doctor. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. Amateur Weaponsmith. I much prefer the Amateur Armor Smith, but, uh... Well, I guess I could have just not been completely awful. A, pla a Squeamish Plague Doctor. That's an interesting combination. Okay, so, abilities... Let's go in Bullying Vapors. And... I guess pretty much the same abilities. We'll go with Emboldening Vapors instead of Indiscriminate Science, because we just can't make much use of that early on. Uh, Audrey! Well, wait, hold on. Let me get the names back. Four Eyes. Alright. And... Valley Girl. Okay. Get. Alright. Now. I think my idea... For Valley Girl was fine. We just we just had a terrible setup, uh, synergizing with our other abilities. So I think we we will still be lunging. We will still have repartee. We will still shadow fade, but we will also have pick to the face and thrown dagger instead of dead of nights because that. We, we're just not going to have many opportunities to use that uh, when we need to use it. And we really just need to focus down on, like, beating people up. Although, in that regard, maybe instead of the lunge shadow fade... Dead of Night... I feel like Dead of Night is more practical with the repartee dodge tank idea. Honestly. And yeah, let's go with Absinthe. Because that gives her dodge too, and we can give her, theoretically give her, uh, items to help her generate taunt as well. So that will just help her get more dodges in. So let's do that. I feel like this quirk is kind of contradictory with the, the backstory of the Great Robber, oddly enough. Okay, Runaway. I think Runaway is where the bulk of our problems came from, so... I think... What do I want, Ransack? Do I want Ransack? Okay, what are you doing again? You're not moving anymore, okay. Nobody else should be moving at all. So, having Ransack would be useful just in case we do get knocked out of position. And also, yeah, 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 so Boudica, who, excuse me, is supposed to be named Bitch Salad, uh, she is going to be using toe-to-toe -to -toe a lot, and that locks her in place. So that lets us use Ransack without much concern. Not that it's really that much of a concern to begin with. It, it basically, uh, the Runaway, also known as the Goth, We'll be able to stay in rank two. And... Hmm. Okay, I think we go with that. Cauterize. Cauterize is a good ability. Dragonfly. God, I wish Firefly could be used in the second rank. It's so annoying that it can't. Because I can't use Dragonfly, because that's going to knock uh, her back. Although, Dragonfly with Ransack 
might be a good combo then, because we can move back and forth. Okay, yeah, that, that works. I think that works. So in that case... I mean, do we still want Searing Strike in that event? Hmm. Yeah, I think, man, the Runaway is just such an odd character. Maybe it's maybe it's like a character for like 100 IQ people, and I'm just bad at the game. Actually, isn't 100 IQ kind of low? Whatever. Anyway, uh, Bitch Salad, you will be using Toe to Toe. Uh, bleed out. Not that. Not if it bleeds. Man, I really need to unlock new abilities for her. Uh. Man, this. This winded mechanic is just so annoying because it's not the same as weakened. It's actually its own token, and it doesn't count as a negative token, so you can't remove it from other means. Uh, see, none of these other abilities really do anything for us. We don't have any bleed, so bloodlust does nothing. It's like the, the unlock order for these abilities just kind of suck. Well, when we upgrade toe to toe, that can cure uh, winded. So I guess bleed out because she is going to be in the front rank anyway. All right, round two with the sisters of battle. Let's try to do a little better this time than losing someone on the first fight of the first region. Onward, and let us hope enough yet remains of the world. Can we maybe get something good out of here? An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Ah, uh, well, we got some stuff that'll really help with our affinity to start off with. I mean, theoretically. We might roll bad on both of them, but... It works. Okay, who do we want to give that speed trinket to? Uh, I guess you? Get that damage off as soon as possible, I suppose. Corpse clear, sure. Shock dust. Useful if we go to the sluice, I guess. Which I, I want to try to do. So I guess we'll hold on to that. Commonalities between the mythos of ancient cultures was not a new area of study for either of us. But it was there that we first noticed the pattern. Desperate and wanting. Will you rip off their earnest pleas? Maybe. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Uh, you can, you can keep the slime mold, guys. Uh, we'll just be going. Alright, let's see how the first tutorial battle goes. See if we do any better. Surely we could do better. Yeah, so I guess if Bitch Salad stays up front and the Gotham Valley Girl can kind of flip around... That's not a problem. Is more than a failure. It is a promise to do better. Let's see how it goes. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. You get to enjoy a fight with three enemies. Okay, what can you use in the second row? Basically everything. Okay, I'm gonna ransack because I want to get rid of this widow quickly. And oh right, I don't have lunge equipped. Oops. It's 
very useful that she starts with taunts. Stumbling and stupefied. Yep. Stuns. So very fun. Uh I really want you to die. Please die. Uh probably best to do that with a thrown dagger. Okay, why don't we bleed you out? Since that has a decent chance to kill. And it will. Except not because you resisted the bleed with a 10% chance. My god. Screw you. I'm killing you with a noxious blast. Valley girl, please. Please heighten my spirits by killing this widow. Too short. Too short. There's some stress we don't need. Uh, I guess this is a situation where backdraft would be kind of useful, huh? Or we could just ransack, that works. Okay. So the goth can kind of tussle with Bitch Salad and the Valley Girl. Just as long as we don't have Valley Girl tussle with Bitch Salad. That will cause issues. Um... Let's blind, since we might not heal him this round. Which is a really bad sign that it takes us more than a round to kill a lost soul with three heroes. Because, god, we just have far more trouble with damage than we really deserve to. But effective. Greater hail drop, that's nice. Put that on the Hellion. Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. Give you the bleed resistance, I guess. Man, nice. I started that first run like, oh yeah, we got a cultist battle in the bag lose one of our heroes on literally the first encounter, the first real encounter, at least. Oh, we sisters of battle. In summers of years I gone. want you to be good. To write, think, and rest. Throw that on, because why not? Where shall Consider we go? your position, and plan accordingly. Okay. This is interesting. It's kind of a flip of what we had last time. So, this is Bat Country, so we have a ton of cultist encounters. But we don't have to fight them in order to get three mastery points. We just have to go to some academic studies. And that sounds... Three mastery points is really hard to pass up. That is so good. Hope 250? I mean, that's a good meta reward, but... And it's very easy to get. But I really want to get those mastery points, because we desperately need them. I mean, we need hero shrines on top of that, because we really need some, like, better abilities. Blood and rain. Resignation and death. Did that select this land is truly barren. Okay, so we didn't do anything at all with Ounce of Prevention. So, I'm not gonna upgrade that, that this time. Instead... You wicked hack wouldn't be bad. Might not be bad at all. Could upgrade that. Which also wouldn't be bad. You know, I think... I think we just go straight up more damage, because the Hellion really needs some more damage. In fact, that's... she's getting... she's getting buffed in the next patch. So... I mean, plus two on minimum? That's not bad, because four... four is a really bad number. Let's go with that. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Okay, I think we'll get a knotted tug rope. And... Bear trap wouldn't be bad. Though I'm not... I, I don't have really much in mind of what I'd even use it for. Boxing gloves, excellent, too. In fact, Okay, we'll get those. 
Like, we suck right now. Our team sucks. Like, we just have to get up, move on from that fact. So it behooves us to get as many advantages as we can for this first region. Alright, so... Let's get drunk. Okay, slightly worse roll than last time. That's upsetting. Now let's play some cards. Okay, that, that worked well. And we are going to have... Hmm. I mean, definitely Bitch Salad should be involved in both of these. But who should she be involved with? Let's check our relationships real quick, because that might influence her decision. Our relationships are pretty low, considering everything we just used. Let's... Are you doing much melee damage, really? Not exactly. I think... Bit Shallad... Bit Shallad. Uh, Bit Salad and Valley Girl should use these. Nice. And cool, we got some positive quirks out of there. Natural Swing, excellent. Hard Noggin, also very good. Now, Knotted Tug Rope. I think we'll just use this again. I suppose it makes you a lot happy. Ra, hold on tight. They're playing Tug of War. Alrighty then. Okay, I'm feeling slightly more confident than last time. Especially with all these these bonuses that uh, our Hellion has got. Should make her somewhat more effective. Right, to the tangle we go. So we need to go to three academic studies. War. Rewards only. Resignation. Prefer to avoid cultist battles whenever possible. I haven't had a turn yet, that's odd. Is this really? Huh. We're just being forced straight into a resistance encounter, huh? Well, there's two of our studies, which means that's probably going to end up being a cultist fight, although with any luck we'll just be able to run away from it. Got an outpost. Cuts Bruce's victory. We'll burn the same as any other. Yep, may as well pick the one that gives us advantages. Alrighty then. This is nasty. This would, this would be the first frickin' fight we get. Alright. Well, I think Smokescreen would be pretty good on you, because I hate you. And of course he resists it, with his 20 debuff resistance. Fun. Okay, I don't want to waste these vulnerables with a play grenade, so... Why don't we embolden... No, that doesn't do anything for you. Uh, it doesn't do anything for anyone, actually. I guess we'll Noxious Blast the guy in the front, then. Okay, marching orders don't really mean anything. Alright, so we'll just go straight for you. We definitely want to kill this guy first, because he can actually revive people, which is... Horrible. Nice. Conclusion. That's some damage I need to see from the Hellion. Okay. Three guaranteed kill. Great start. Fantastic start. This is already going unfathomably better than the first attempt from the Sisters of Battle. Maybe, maybe it was all just my fault the first time, which I would be happy to believe. And I suppose... Uh, I guess we could just beat you down. 
makes sense. I would like to kill you, because he gives everyone one stress, and we don't really have any good ways of dealing with stress at the moment. We also don't really have any good ways of deal of just hitting him in general, so... Wait, don't you have Ransack? Yes, you do. Although... Yeah, he has 200% movement resistance, so that's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening at all. I mean, we can beat him down, just have uh, Valley Girl and Four Eyes deal with the drummer. Go ahead, taunt me. I, that's, that's actually what I want. Right, and could cauterize, but there's basically no point of that. Nice. Bad DOT. Flashing blade. Yikes. Now it's looking like a cauterizing time. Although it might be better to blind him. In all honesty. Because he's going to double hit. That's, that's typically what he does. So I think blinding would be good. Just please... Just please actually work. Thank you. Smokescreen is great because it's a double blind as well. Blinding gas is only one, I think. And then we will definitely cauterize... Probably the Hellion, actually. Cause she's got a stronger bleed on her. Can this hit? No. Do that. And... If this lands... Yeah, you should be dead. Blight? Nice. Dissection. Okay, we don't need to worry about him anymore. End. Ow! Very... This pain. Of course, the Hellion's gonna go first. So we're not gonna be able to cauterize her before she gets hit with that. Great. Please. Please kill him. Or er, actually, hold on, no. Yeah, let's rock his revelry. Just for the extra heal. Crit heal, excellent. Does wind her, but considering he's on death's door, that doesn't actually mean anything. We just need to be able to hit him for any amount of damage. And you're dead. Okay, so you're dead. You're... Do I want to risk... Do I want to risk going for a Cauterize? Because he's going to get to go first. He is blind, so actually, yeah, this might be a good time to stall. Of course, he didn't miss the first time, but it's a coin flip. Please miss. And it didn't the fucking work. And she's probably gonna die. Oh, thank god she didn't. Okay, well, that was a mistake. Should've just gone for the kill. Has been tended to. Suffering strengthens the Got a positive relationship out of it, at least. Tried and tested. A bond to be counted on. Okay, that was horrible. Amidst the spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Mastery point makes it almost worth it. I mean, our, our bounty objective for this region doesn't require us to actually do any fights, so if we can just avoid fights, which... Okay, we're going to be forced into a cultist battle there, but hopefully we'll just be able to... God, there's... Alright, you know, hold on. Mm. Ah, we have to go this way if we want to get these caches. Or studies. Damn. I mean, these could be studies as well, but... There's no way of knowing that. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna have three road bat, Four road battles. We're gonna have to hope we can run away from two cultist encounters. Ugh, this sucks. I'm, I'm giving it my fair shake. 
No, Goth. We have to go to the studies. We have a quest objective. Quest, bounty, goal, whatever. Can we please not get, like, a double ghoul fight on this road battle? Because that would just be the icing on the cake. Of just piss and vinegar. Alright. Bad. Not the worst. Not the worst. In fact, I think we're just gonna rush down the front line here, because that's where most of our damage is. I hate this guy, but we don't really have a whole lot of damage on the back line. Excellent I think it's definitely best to go front first. Especially with that crit. Okay, surely the Goth is going to be able to take out that guy, so why don't we take this opportunity to heal. You're a survivor! Just remember that was a song like halfway through reading that, so I kind of awkwardly enunciated it that way. One damage, not bad. Okay, that actually perfectly sets us up for a cauterize, actually. Um... Yeah, I think we just try to kill this front line. It turns out it's the right decision. So press your advance. Yeah, you are definitely getting cauterized next turn. Ow! Stun! Not what I wanted to see. I think this is a dead of night situation. It gives us stealth and gets these guys up front so we can start beating on them with the Hellion. Also sets up our taunts. Cauterize. Kind of wish that was a crit, but you have to hope for the best. To. And what do we want to do against you? I think heal, honestly. I don't really have any other good options. Okay, so she's getting stressed. That'd actually be a decent time for a Rackus Revelry. She'll get the stress heal off of it as well. In fact, yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Does wind her, but she's kind of compensating for it with that strength token. And now we will repartee. And... Honestly, I think I want to blind. Or... Could bring this guy up front. Or, could burn. Firefly. Dragonfly, rather. Yeah, I'll do that. Gets her back up front. And we'll stack... Dots. Taking six a turn. Which means we only need to do two damage to hit the killer, which is great, because she's winded. Finally, that dodge is paying off. Um We only need to do two damage to kill him, so I think now we focus on the crack shot. With our non-Hellion characters. Did 11 damage, which, uh, not insignificant. And we're probably not going to kill him this round, so let's just go ahead and blind him. Then we should be able to burst him down next round. Uh, get this last battlefield medicine off, I suppose. Okay, so we recovered from that first fight a little bit. Please. Please dodge something, Valley Girl. Okay. Scavenge point? what you no. can, and be off once more. It helps to hope, but you can't always get it. Actually, on an off-screen run, I actually got seven mastery points in the first region, which was just incredible. 
This on-camp study evokes a feeling of the familiar, does it not? Kind of. The unknown. This sounds like a music box my parents gave me. It sounds like home. Are these the rumored psychoacoustics? Impossible. Okay, so we have to take this, actually. Um... I guess we should take it on you, because you can stress heal, and you're, like, gonna take some stress damage from this. How much flame do we have? I don't like being forced to lose flame like this, but we don't have an option. Cowardice. That's Amidst great. The spoils. An artifact of unparalleled power. Now that's fun. Obsidian drone pipe. Random enemy at turn starts. 25% chance to stun. That sounds very good. So much so, that I'm going to equip it immediately, and not just because we have a bunch of empty tokens. Uh, maybe I'll throw that on as well, I suppose. And this. Alrighty then. Should probably just equip these. Having empty combat item slots is only a disadvantage. Alrighty then. Where to go but dead ahead? We're not gonna make it, are we? Odds are no, bitch salad, you're not. But there is nobility in the attempt. Maybe not that first one, but, you know. Impervious enemies. I mean, perfect. We, we, got, we got a trinket that gives us a stun chance, and we immediately get enemies that resist stun. Isn't that just incredible? Alright, so... I hate, the, I hate these two in the back, but... I think most of our damage is kind of centered on this second spot, so we'll go for him. And finish you off. And we shall... Smokescreen the Widow would not be a bad idea. I feel like I'm sleeping on Backdraft. That'd probably be a really good ability to try to use, especially in this composition where we really struggle with damage, I feel. Um... Let's just get rid of this lost soul as quickly as possible. Resisted stun, because obviously. You are dead. I'm here. Ye yes, you are. Oh, thanks for the double block. That's not insignificant. Uh, leg grenade, I guess. Can't really do anything else. When this guy dies, ah, I wish she died before. Or at least if I gave this pouch of light to someone else. I want to heal this stress. Probably need to keep on top of that. We do lose some damage, but that's just because the Hellion sucks. Stun, of course, thank you. And a crit for the effort. I'm here! Yes you are, Goth! You're here! Wow, you just you just love her, don't you? Alright, Ransack is a great choice. Nice! Man, these they're both here. They're putting out some work. Nice. And this will be a perfect opportunity to do some lie. Or I could just... I could just uh, Iron Swan and save it. Let's see, this does 5 to 9. So at minimum, she's going to take 8 damage, which means she might survive with 1 health. Which would be very annoying, but I'm willing to take that chance. Okay, she's dead. Anything we can do with you? Nah. Uh, Smoke screen for fun. An 
inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Sharpness charm, not bad. That'll help counteract our Hellion's debuffs. Although we will have to get rid of the wolf's blood. Do I want to do that for the sake of more damage? Honestly, yes. Bitch Salad needs to hit as hard as possible because she is our main damage source. And to be frank, she's not very good at it. I mean, here, here's just one little thing, alright? So, Hellion has this move called Bloodlust. Removes our Winded, which is actually pretty good. Maybe I should equip this just for that. Um, and it gains 20% damage against bleeding targets, alright? Now, I just want to compare that to uh, the Highwayman and the Take Aim uh, ability, which we use to astounding effect in our run with the best medicine. Can you see the weird dichotomy in value there? It's just really weird that, like, you would just have this strictly worse version of that same kind of concept. And like, and like that's topping off that Hellion doesn't get any uh, death blow piercing. Like, I just don't understand what the plan was here. I don't know, it's just weird, and it annoys me. Giving Wolf's Blood to you would be pretty good, because you could get a blind off pretty quickly. I think that would be beneficial. Another study to check off the list. Okay, another one that we have to take and lose 10 Torchlight, which just sucks. Okay, this gives us Scouting, which I don't care about at all. This gives us a Trinket chance. Occultomania. I feel like we were already dealing with that. Scavenge what you can. The hell is that? And be off once more. When thrown, explodes in cosmic fire. I have no idea what that means, but I hope it does a lot of damage. Uh, whatever it is, I think it sounds a little more useful than the chalk dust. Alright. Assistance to counter, not bad, because we did lose a lot of flame kind of unavoidably. I mean, not unavoidably, but unavoidably, at least, if we wanted to get these academic studies. Kind of odd, we've never got any chance to, like, ignore those, either. Please don't be two ghouls. Alright, not bad. Okay, why don't we try to take out the Widow first? Basically, we need a crit to kill, but we have follow-up damage. Five... This needs to do two damage to kill. I think I'd honestly rather emboldening vapors on you. And then your knife should be able to kill her just straight out. Oh, nice, we stunned her, so I guess it doesn't matter. Well, if I knew that was going to happen, the play grenade would have definitely have been better. In fact, this might not even kill her. Okay, it did, thankfully. Now then. Ah. It burns and blights the target for five. Which I kind of want to do. Just because I hate these guys. I want them to be dead as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just use this while we have it, you know? And let's dragonfly. That should kill him, I think. Seven, five, yeah. And then we'll ransack... Well, I guess we don't need to. Never mind. He moved himself forward. Getting irritable. Always fun. Okay. He's going to... I think we ransack for the kill here. He is getting stressed the fudge out. I 
Noxious Blast. Nice. Always love those double hits. And she's gonna rock his revelry just to section. deal with her stress. An unavoidable end. And you are not dead, but you're you're dead. Okay, anything productive we can do since we don't need to do any more damage? Uh not really. I mean, actually, you just heal her up the pole with dead of night. I forgot that you don't need a minimum amount of damage to heal off of that. You can just use it. So that's nice. Bleed out for fun. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Okay, please, for the love of God, let us skip the cultist fight we're gonna have to face soon. Thank God. I was about to say, am I going to have to lose Torchlight again? No. Thankfully, Valley Girl comes to the rescue in that regard. The relationship is tested. In this world, Respectful. Wealth is worthless without purpose. We are a platonic bunch of gal pals. And I can respect that. As much as Valley Girl and Bitch Salad respect each other. Some steak and spuds. It's not bad. move unavoidably to the Watchtower, which is not really going to help us because our desired path is more or less, I mean, basically the only path we can take. Let's just know what's coming, I suppose. Tell me what I don't already know, please. Okay. Another road battle on the way to the cache. Hopefully that cache has got something good in it. Supplies this way, if you can make it. It is low indeed to profit in destruction. All right, two mortar men. Don't like that. Up, bad up. I think we're gonna prioritize the back line here. Just need six more damage on you. Ah, I should have attacked him. That's unfortunate. Um, let's try to burn these two. And then we'll throw a dagger at the guy in the back. Stun! Nice! Kill! Nice! True teamwork. Relationships are paying off. I think she's just gonna revelry again. Because we really need to keep her stress in check. Um, we're gonna ransack him, so... Let's play Grenade him. Hopefully we can kill him next round. Ooh. Hunt with me. We did get a strength token, so I kind of just want to bleed out on this guy. I know I should stick to my plans, or maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, let's go for bleed out. Okay, he's dead. I think that's good. And now we ransack you. Doesn't actually mean that much, but... Hunt with me, damn it! Thanks for the dodge. And... Okay. We need to do five damage. All right. That's two down. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Um, let's see, why don't we, 
I should really internalize the math of this situation. Like, what would be better to get stack some dot on him or emboldening vapors, one of our fighters? I'm gonna go with the play grenade. This time. So he's taking five. That leaves him with six health. You need to do six damage. Come on, you can do that. You can theoretically do that. You did half of what I needed you to do. Fine. You can pick up the slack. All right. Fortunately, I wish Bitch Shallot could go for this guy because then we could practice revelry. But whatever. Uh, if I cure this, maybe they'll relieve some stress. This wound at least yeah, has a been tended to. All right, so this the is going a little better. By the going by the fact we didn't training. immediately die. Slime mold, you can. I don't want the slime mold. Okay, we got a ranged damage trinket, which would be useful, more useful than that fire resist, I guess. There we go. Man, this thing has been paying off. City and drone pipe. I am glad I picked that up. Goth just buffed four eyes. Thank you very much. What's treasures for us? Inkling of potency still lingers in some ah, of these there we go. Roast pig with relics. fixes. Always nice to see. Some more playing cards as well. I think our relationships are going to be in good shape at the very least. And you know what? That makes me happy. Got another sharpness charm. Who would benefit from that? You don't have much bleed resist, I guess, so I guess this would be useful. It's like my FPS is kind of low. That's weird. Alright. I'll hold on to this because, I mean, this will be this will be helpful when and if we go to the sprawl. May as well go left, save two road battles. I just hope we can avoid this fight. The avatars of oblivion, clergy of the spreading stain. Yeah, I, do, I don't want to fight that. Emptied of mind and spirit by some existential shock, the poor devils roam aimlessly amidst the trees. I really like the little lore tidbits we get as we drive. It's a great way to tell the story, I guess. Not even really telling a story, just like explaining this world to us, which I love. I love this world. Please let us run. I need to run. Okay. Trade flame or relics? Wish I could check my map. Uh, I think we trade relics. Yeah, we don't... We don't want any of what that is. I mean, we're gonna have to fight cultists eventually, obviously, but uh, having a lot more mastery points would make that an easier sell, especially with this team. Field hospital. Unfortunately, we just dropped off a whole bunch of relics, so probably not a whole lot we can do here. Can we buy some laudanum? We can. That would be very useful. Yeah, I think that's what we needed to spend our money on. Didn't even look at anything else, but... Uh, I think I would have made that same decision nine times out of ten. Neutralizing powders. We don't need two stacks of those. Burn salve. It'll be useful if we go to... The... Fire City. Goron City. Um... Yeah, we ain't got money for anything else. Now, let's equip this laudanum. In fact, let's split the stack for now. We don't really need the lie. Lie is kind of... If you have a half-decent party, lie is kind of not super useful. Or I guess if you have a good enough strategy that doesn't involve corpse clear, or like a wide range of attacks, I guess you wouldn't need it.
Okay, please let me avoid this fight too. I really can't. I, I don't see a cultist encounter ending well for me. Run away! Okay, good. We got a runaway option. Fortunately, it's gonna it's really mess with our relationships, but we got answers for that. We got the pig and cards. Are any of our relationships in danger of souring, actually? No, our, our relationships are fantastic. And it looks like we will actually be able to complete our objective. Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. There's a lot of seats to our regrettable research, isn't there? I mean, I guess it makes sense with the implications that uh, everything in this world is not quite sensible. Everything's kind of broken and shattered. There is something unearthly in the tannin of this unsavory vintage. Oh. What? I fear I would swallow some vile pickled specimen. I won't survive with my senses told. No, we will, we will not. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, objective complete. Three mastery points for the taking. All that's standing between us and the inn is the guardian encounter, which is rarely that much of a trouble unless you try to push it all the way, which I don't think we will. Like, we really don't have the strength for that, I think. Emptiness and dissolution have wormed their way into the world. All right. Not the worst, not the best. I mean, not bad at all because we got burned. Okay, laudanum for sure. There is comfort in company. And I think we just start the flames. A slow dissection, an unavoidable end. Um, everyone else should try to focus on this guy, though. I think. I mean, actually, I prefer. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, we can pull him. Yeah, so yeah, let's focus on him. And then we'll ransack him. Because we do want to kill him first, because he can re just revive these two, which is not great. Uh, Laud them on you. And then, when things get a little clearer, we'll try to get a raucous revelry in. Toe to toe. That's actually not super necessary at this juncture. It doesn't really do for us. I'm here. You sure are. Uh, it's emboldening vapors on the goth. You get the most of that ransack. Typical. Oh, we again. Come on, bitch salad. I mean, your name's bitch salad, but you. Please not be such a jerk. Man, that breacher quirk is really helping out. Really draws some fire for us to be able to set up our early game. Ow. That's not fun. Okay, ransack. Please, please. Yes, alright, you're dead. Bye bye this quickly. I should have used a lot of them there. That was kind of a misplay. Uh, yeah, I guess you're the next target. She's got decent HP. So her being the tank kind of works. Alright. Um, just go for a kill. This might actually be the time for a raucous revelry. Because these these guys aren't too much of a threat, to be completely honest. So let's ransack just to get you up front. There we go. 
This would be much better if it didn't require a health threshold to heal. Kill. Or death store at least. Forgot that these guys have that. Nice that it weakened him. Ow. You done so much. Let me hail. Thanks, but that healing could have probably been better served on the alien. Uh chance for a burn and a death blow, so. There we go. That's the most efficient use of our time there, I think. Relax. Everyone's getting a little cranky. I think you're dead now, yep. Um I mean we don't need to do anything else, so let's heal. Well, that might piss her off. That might piss her off. So let's just go for the kill. We don't really need the heal. An unavoidable end. All right, we're, we're definitely getting out of here. I, I got some healing cell. That's like the best thing I could have hoped for from this. An unexpected find. All right, I think that that first region went well. I think we got a much better strategy with our combat our ability set up compared to that awful, awful first attempt. Region down. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. Nice. All right, everyone. Some pretty nasty quirks just popped up, but uh, all right, everyone. That was the. Uh, Let's just say this was the first go with the Sisters of Battle. I, I feel like that first attempt was more my fault than anything else. They handled themselves a little better this time. And that's, that's a great thing. So, I'll cut the video here and we will return later for the further adventures of the Sisters of Battle. Goodbye.